How's it going guys? My name is DJP and welcome back to another NBA 2K23 MindBee Career Simulation. So this is actually a player that I wanted to do that is actually not in the game, but we can always find, you know, their player DNA due to 2K share. Charles Barkley. Yes, Charles Barkley. We're going to simulate his career, see if he can maybe win a championship in his career re-simulation. It should be some exciting stuff. I'm excited to get on into it. Before we do, get on into it. Leave a like, subscribe, if you're enjoying the content. Comment down below some of my videos. Go to socials, playlist, second channel, main channel, down below description if you like other content, DJP. And with that being said, let's get on to the gameplay. All right, so here we are at the draft lottery. And um, oh, one thing I would like to mention, uh, the Lakers ended up winning the finals this past season that we just simulated. So we're going to see who gets the first pick. Uh, let's see who ends up getting the first pick. Now, I don't think Charbox is going to go number one, but he'll probably go within the top three, I would assume. So we're going to skip the lottery. So we got the Bullets, Bulls, and Clippers. Bullets, Bulls, and Clippers. Okay. Interesting stuff there. So let's see what ends up happening. Maybe he goes to the Bullets. Maybe he goes to the Bulls. Maybe he goes to the Clippers. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he goes to the Rockets. Who knows? So we're going to simulate and see where he ends up going. We're going to watch the draft and go from there. All right, so we're at the draft. Let's see what ends up happening here in the draft. So first pick, the Bullets are going to be selecting Charles Barkley. Wow, he went number one overall. Okay. Over Michael Jordan, over Akeem Olajuwon, Charles Barkley went number one. That's pretty crazy. Okay. Uh, Olajuwon goes to the Bulls. The Clippers are going to get Michael Jordan. Interesting. Uh, John Stockton goes to the Rockets. And that is all she wrote. So... Okay, Charles Barkley went number one overall. I did not see that coming. I thought it would... I didn't think it'd be him, but they ended up taking number one. So, cool. We're going to be looking at the Bullets, I guess, uh, paying attention to their team, seeing how they're going to be performing. Yeah, the Bullets. How's it, how crazy is that? I went all the way around when I could have just went two over. So, there we go. All right. Well, let's see what the Bullets are dealing with after free and see kind of look at their roster and see what Barkley's got working for him. So, Barkley's going to be Jeff, joining Jeff Ruland. That's not a terrible guy to have. I mean, him, and then we got Jeff Malone as well. Um, that was their rookie, I guess, they drafted last season. Okay, I mean, there's some solid pieces on here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, but I mean, Jeff Rulin, I guess, would be pretty cool. Charles Barkley could be the man of the team. So, we'll see what ends up happening. Let's simulate his first season. I'm sure he'll be all rookie first team. I don't think he's going to win rookie of the year, but you never know. All right, so into the first season here, Magic Johnson MVP. Michael Jordan took some of the rookie of the year. Uh, but let's see how, uh, ooh, someone said 71 and 11. The Lakers, of course. Magic Johnson, that MVP. Uh, but how did uh, Charles Barkley do? Oh, being third team is pretty impressive, so that means he must have been on a rookie team. 15.8 points per game, 12.4 rebounds, 4 assists. Uh, not too bad from the field, horrible from 3, and uh, free throw percentage, 70.3%. I guess we'll take it. He played 81 of 82 games. Actually, he started 81 games. He played in all 82. Had 51 double-doubles, so that's pretty cool to see. So not too bad from Barkley. Uh, did he make an all? He made an all defensive team as well. That's actually pretty impressive. I don't know if he made any all defensive teams in his actual career, but uh, pretty cool stuff that he made it there. Now let's see how good the Bullets were. The Bullets were the four seed, so they were good enough to make the postseason. They're gonna be taking on the Bucks in the first round. Moncrief, Marquise Johnson. Uh, okay, let's see how they could do. Barkley leading the way, I guess, so to speak. Him and Jeff Ruland, who's also really good. We'll see what ends happening here in the best of five series. And the Bullets win in four. Okay. You're going to be taking on the Sixers here. The Sixers, Mo Cheeks, Julius Irving, Moses Malone. Uh, it's a pretty good team. Definitely a really good team. Um, I could see us losing to this squad, but well, you never know. And we actually beat them in six. We're in the conference finals in our second se uh, first season. Larry Bird, Je Kevin McHale, and Robert Parrish, as well as Dennis Johnson. Don't forget about him. Like Maxwell off the bench. It's a great team right here. This is a great team. We'll see what ends up happening here. Can we get to the finals in our first season? Now we lose in five to the mighty Celtics, which is fine. But how about Charles Barkley getting his team to the conference finals in the first year? Or at least a part, being a part of it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he was one of the leaders. Uh, him, Malone, and Ruland. Pretty solid. Um, I like it. 18.5 points in the playoffs, 12 rebounds, and the efficiency went up, so that's cool to see. The numbers went down. So not a bad playoff run for his first uh, go-around. We'll take it. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, let's see who ends up winning the finals. Lakers sweep and Magic Johnson gets finals MVP. All right, Michael Jordan's already winning MVPs, which is pretty crazy. And, uh, yeah, Kim Lodgeman's already been defense player of the years. But, Charles Barkley, All-NBA first team, 29 points, 14 rebounds, 4 assists. And, um, yeah, his numbers went up. And I think he did end, they ended up making the postseason again, so that's pretty cool to see. And he's actually shooting threes fairly decent. That's kind of surprising. Carl Malone also in his first season made All-NBA first team. So, Carl Malone's like a god for some reason in the sim. I mean, fair play to him. Um, Charles Barkley, all defensive first team again. So that's cool to see from him. Um, yeah, and uh, the Bullets. This time a 6 seed taking on the Boston Celtics in the first round. Uh, the mighty Celtics, who they lost to in five last year. Probably going to lose again, but you never know. Let's see what ends up happening. And they lose in four in the first round. Hey, not a bad year, though. Uh, a little bit of a down season, but, you know, nevertheless. Uh, Barkley is showing signs of improvement, though. 25 points a game, 12.7 rebounds. So he had a good, solid playoff run four, in four games. He was pretty decent. And, uh, you know, this past season he played in 81 games. He had 65 double-doubles. So, so far through two seasons, not too bad for Barkley. Let's see if he can kind of keep it up next couple years. And who knows, maybe they'll keep adding some talent. The guys will continue to develop. Uh, but uh, let's see who ends up winning the uh, championship here. But, yeah, because they have a decent amount of uh, guys that are youngish enough. And the Clippers win the finals in seven. And Michael Jordan gets his first championship with the Clippers. All right, season number three in the books. Uh, this year, not the best year for us. Uh, I think uh, but Barkley wants to get on be a first team. 22.9 points, 15.2 rebounds, 4.66. A round amount of rebounding. Definitely living up to name in terms of rebounding. Uh, pretty solid year. Uh, he played in uh, 80 games. He's definitely shooting a lot of threes and not making a lot of them, that's for sure. But he's sure taking them. But uh, was he all defensive first team again? He was. They're actually pretty impressive. Um, but uh, unfortunately, the Bullets were really bad. Uh, didn't make the playoffs, 29-53. But I guess that's fine. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening next year. He's got one more year on his deal. Uh, I would assume he'll stay around, but you never know um, with this game, what the players decide to do. Uh, but yeah, regardless, the Bulls and Celtics, and we got the Mavericks and the Lakers, and the Mavericks in the finals, Mark Aguirre, finals MVP. Uh, let's see what ends up happening here. I feel like the Wizard, uh, the Bulls can have a good draft pick. Maybe they'll use that to draft a good, really good player to draft uh, to pair up with Barkley. They got a couple guys on the team already that are pretty solid, so let's see what ends up happening. All right, the Bulls are back in the playoffs to reseed. Uh, Barkley, again, All-NBA first team, All-Defensive first team for his fourth straight season. They end up getting Scotty Pippen on the squad. Uh, Rick Horn still here, Jeff Malone, Detlef Schrempf. They're actually a pretty solid team. Uh, so we'll end up seeing what happens with Barkley if he decides to stay around. I would assume he will, but you never know with this game. Uh, but, yeah, another good year from him. Grabbing a bunch of rebounds, shooting the ball. Uh, yeah, not too bad so far throughout his career. 82 games played, 67 doubles. He had one triple-double. That's pretty cool. And they got to take on the six-seeded Bucks. We'll see if they get into beating them. we got Muggsy Bogues on the squad. That's kind of cool now. Let's see if they can beat them. And they will. And they're going to be taking on the seven-seeded Pacers. Trying to get back to that conference finals. Of course, they've got Shannon Flowers, Carl Malone, the GOAT. Um, Kenny the Jet Smith on this team. Clark Kellogg. Um, okay, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting team indeed. Uh, let's see what ends up happening here. Best of seven, and the yep, Pacers beat them uh, because of probably Carl Malone. Except they get swept by the Bulls, and Mavericks win the finals. Mark McGuire finals MVP. Who's on the Mavericks besides Mark McGuire? Uh, Rolando Blackman. Ben Turner, I'm looking. Okay. Who's on the Bulls? Joe Dumars. Akeem Lajuan, right? That's who it was. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look to see how Barkley did in the postseason. I mean, again, pretty solid for the most part. Uh, we'll see. He's got a contract extension upcoming. I would assume that the Bullets will offer him that, but you never know. Let's see what ends up happening and go from there. All right, so Barkley ended up staying with the team and uh, yeah, uh, signed a five year contract. Also, I forgot we had Mark Price, but Mark Price was injured. He had a spinal injury. This is another good player to have on the team. So really, it's honestly it's looking pretty good with Barkley, Pippen, Shrimp, and Mark Price. It's a pretty solid squad. And even Jump was pretty solid. Uh, but other than that, not too not too crazy. But we'll see what ends up uh, happening here with Price. Hopefully, he's not out for too long. And uh, yeah, we'll see how good the bullets can be.
right, another year in the books. Carl uh, Malone won MVP. Charles Barkley is fifth straight All NBA first team appearance. Uh, actually, no, not his fifth, fourth. Sorry, because he was All NBA thirteen this year in his rookie year. I keep saying fifth, but yeah, he's been All NBA five times in a row. So that's, I guess, you can go with that route. Uh, but yeah, I mean, looking good so far. All eighty two games played, three triple doubles, seventy one double doubles. And he is once again not on the only for all defensive, but he's on all defensive second, so fit straight all defensive appearance, I think. Uh, Scotty Pippen beat him out, but that's okay. That's good. That's what you want to see. And I'm only showing guys because the Bullets are a three seed again. Uh, and they're looking good. Uh, Mark Price in the lineup, Jeff Malone, Scotty Pippen, Charles Barkley, got Greg Kite, Dedler Shove off the bench as a six man. That's a pretty good team. It's a pretty good team. We'll see what ends up happening here. We got the Cla uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, James Worthy's on that team. That's about it. All right, simulate so the round. Can we beat them? We do. Okay, we do. We were down 2-0, came back down. Came back from 2-0 lead, or 2-0 deficit. Now you're going to on the Bulls. Good team here. Akeem Olajuwon, Dumars, Ron Harper. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to beat them, but we'll try. Can we beat the Bulls? We don't. We're losing five. Second round exit. Okay. How did Barkley do? Not that great efficiency wise the three-point shot was not falling uh at all he's got to stop taking so many dang threes uh 48 fouls he also feel like fouls a lot too it's kind of crazy it's like he's fouling out every damn game uh so he's got to relax on that but other than that you know it's, it's been okay it's been kind of up and down uh mavericks bulls bulls win the finals king lodge won finals mvp I'll probably simulate a couple seasons if the uh, we don't make a deep playoff run like a conference finals appearance. If we do make one, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, I'll probably just simulate a couple years. This last season, but we lost in the second round. This year, I feel like we have a chance to make a really good run. Once again, an all-bay appearance from Charles Barkley. And, I mean, uh, he's done well so far through his first seven seasons. Grabbing a lot of rebounds. Looks like he played a little bit less games this year. Uh, he, yeah, he missed a few games. 77 games, but not too much. So still played really well. And, uh, yeah, the team is by far the best that they've been. Uh, also, all defensive second team once again. If we take a look at his accolades, he has been a five-time All-Star, six times on that first-team All-NBA. He's been on third-team All-NBA once, five-time first-team All-Defense, second-team All-Defense twice, first-team All-Rookie, so not a bad career so far for Mr. Barkley. It's looking good so far. Let's see if we can keep it up. Uh, but he's probably capped out at his, like, limit as a 90 overall. But, you know, the Bullets were a number one seed. And, uh, you know, Scottie Pippen is currently the best player in terms of overall. So he's looking good. Obviously, have Mark Price, who's a good point guard to have on the team. Dallas Shrimp coming off the bench. Jeff Malone. Devin Tucker. This guy that, I guess, doesn't exist, but he's actually pretty solid. Brad Davis, Rick Mahorn. Actually, this is probably our deepest team as well. So we'll see if the Bullets could do anything here against the eight-seeded Sixers. Um, should be able to beat them, but you never know. And, uh, well, swept them. Trying to get to the conference finals here. Got the Pacers, with the MVP, Carl Malone. Or at least, well, he did win an MVP at one point. I don't know if he was in I forgot who the MVP was this past season. doesn't really matter. It wasn't any of our players. And we lost in six. So a little bit of an embarrassment. Um... Barkley, though, in the playoffs, I mean, he was really good. Um, but, yeah, tough to tough to lose that against the friggin' uh, Indiana Pacers. So, Boston back in the finals, and they beat the Suns. Larry Bird, finals MVP. Tough to see. Tough to see. How many years? I don't know how many years Barkley has left on his deal. I think it might be two. We'll see. Well, I mean, I got to show you guys this. I wasn't going to tell you guys anything, but here we go. Deep playoff run right here. In the conference finals, beat the Hornets, swept them, won a tough series against the Celtics in seven, and now we're in the conference finals, taking on the Pacers. Uh, hopefully, they can beat them. Barkley so far throughout this postseason, nothing doing, nothing crazy, but yeah, we'll take it. It's pretty solid, you know, as usual. Double double. Scottie Pippen's doing his thing. Mark Price. I mean, yeah, I think it's this year, and next year, and then after that, I'm not really sure what's going to happen with the with the core. Uh, but let's see what ends up happening here. Can we get to the finals with this team? Nope, lose to the Pacers in five. That is a joke, as uh, Barkley did not have a good conference run, as you can see. Uh, the numbers went down a bit. 
Tough to see. Tough to see. Uh, still have yet to get to the finals with Barkley. Maybe he'll get there one day. Clippers win the finals. Michael Jordan finals MVP. We got one more year on his deal. Let's see what Barkley ends up doing after this upcoming season. Hopefully they can win it, and then maybe he'll stay. All right, guys, I didn't really show you this season. Miami Heat ended up winning the championship. Tim Hardaway finals MVP. We lost to them in six. This is a super team right here. They have a really good team. Tim Hardaway, Mahmoud abdul Raf. Larry Johnson, Akeem Olajuwon. Yeah, it's a really good team. Ran into a good squad. Um, but, you know, Barkley had another good season. Uh, but he ended up getting hurt in the postseason, which is probably why we lost. Uh, I mean, not a bad run. Um, but, unfortunately, ended up getting hurt uh, early on. So, didn't even play in uh, this series at all against Miami. Tough. But uh, I don't know what he can end up doing here in free agency. Uh, he might end up leaving. Who knows? I guess we're going to find out. So Barkley took his talents to the Denver Nuggets, interestingly enough. They've got Mark Jackson, Kiki Vanderway, who's kind of old, uh, now a young Allen Houston. Honestly, I don't know why he would have went to this team. Maybe to play with his buddy Jeff. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have gone to the Nuggets. I don't know if they're better than the Wizards, but... Okay, I mean, he's going to give it a shot in Denver. See what ends up happening. He's up to 91. So he's here in the next four years in his prime. See what ends up happening. He's going to make the postseason the three seed. Um, I didn't show you guys last year because they were just so bad. But we got this guy, Bruce Elliott, who's pretty solid. Um, he's actually a second-round pick. He's turned into 83 overall. Pretty impressive. Allen Houston had a nice second year. We have Jalen Rose now. I mean, honestly, it ended up being a pretty solid team. Uh, we look at the Barkley, once again, all NBA first team. Much better season than he did last little bit down here, but this year, better in terms of this overall statistics. I mean, he's putting up 20, 13, and 4.8 assists for his career. Yeah, he's got a ton of rebounds, and he's done pretty solid as a scorer as well. Probably end up with over 20,000 points for his career, maybe close to 25K. You can definitely get maybe like 15,000 rebounds. Uh, but yeah, he's been really durable as well, so that's cool to see. Uh, and I mean, if you look at his accolades, I mean, he's been a nine-time All-Star, eight-time first-team All-Bay, two-time second-team, one-time third-team, all-defense seven times on the first, three times on the second. He's been that all-rookie first-team. He hasn't had that MVP like he has in real life, but honestly, maybe the accolades are close to it because of the defensive teams. It might make up for a little bit. Uh, he hasn't been to a championship yet, so maybe this is the year. they got to take on the six-seeded Rockets. Um, Wizards nowhere to be found, interestingly enough. Uh, Rockets got John Stockton and Patrick Ewing. Nice little dynamic duo. Let's see if we can beat the Rockets here. And we do. In the second round, got the Clippers, who I think still have Michael Jordan. Yep, Michael Jordan, Michael Williams, Kersey, Otis Thorpe. Okay, they're going to solid team. Let's see if the Clippers can win or the Nuggets. And it's going to be the Nuggets going to the conference finals. They got the one-seeded Spurs. David Robinson, Danny Manning, Sam Cassell, I can see Petrovic. Interesting squad. So let's see if we can beat them and go to the finals for the first time. And no, they get swept. <laughs> Heat and Spurs. Heat win again. And the Heat. But Akeem Lodge won finals MVP. Heat are just a really good team. Uh, but let's take a look at how Barkley did in the playoffs. By the way, the Nuggets were only 41-41 as a three seed. They really weren't a three seed, but at the same time, they actually ended up being a three seed by getting all the way to the conference finals. So, I was a 500 team. It's really not that great, but, you know, it's, it's good enough, at least in this era of basketball, with the way the rules are set up. So, uh, in the postseason, 18.2 points, then half rebounds. Nothing too crazy. 6.4 assists. He's kind of being a facilitator, which is cool. All right. Well, he's got another two years on his deal. We'll see what ends up happening in these next couple seasons. I wasn't going to show you guys this season, but uh, we ended up being a six seed. Beat the Lakers in four. Beat the Lake uh, Rockets in five with MVP John Stockton. He actually won the MVP, which is pretty crazy. Beat him in five. And yeah, being Barkley, another good season for him. And so far in the postseason, he's absolutely killing it in the playoffs. He had a great year here, but this is probably his best playoff run so far to date. And I mean, if he continues to play like this, they can get to the finals. Got to take on the one-seeded Suns. Uh, in real life, he loves his Suns, but in the game, he's got to be able to beat them. Uh, they got a good overall team. They definitely have a good overall team. Can he get to the finals? They will not. They lose in six to the Suns. That is tough to see. Barkley, 
I mean, he had a great run in the postseason, playoffs, whatever you want to call it. Three ball didn't quite fall as you would want it to. The Pistons are in the finals. They got a young Shaq. Uh, basically Shaq and everybody else, but uh, the Suns win in seven. Chris Mullen, finals MVP. I think uh, Bark has got one more season in Denver, and we'll see what he ends up deciding to do after that. Playoff run here. The Denver Nuggets have swept both the Warriors and the Lund-seeded Lakers. And they're back at the conference finals again. Barkley not doing too bad in the postseason this year. Not as great as a run last year. But again, an all-NBA team appearance. I mean, if you want to see his stats and his accolades, 11-time All-Star, 8-time first-team All-NBA, second-team All-NBA four times, 13-1, seven-team, seven times All-Defense, first-team, second-team three times. And, uh, yeah, obviously that rookie first-team. He's trying to get to his first finals. Um, he's almost there. He's been knocking on the door. And they're in the conference finals to take on the two-seeded Jazz and beat the Lakers with a one-seed. Uh, and, yeah, they got to take on the two-seeded Jazz. Jason Kidd, I think he won an MVP. Uh, Rick Smith, Fonzo Ellis. I think it's a good team. Jerry Stackhouse, I see such exposed. Okay, yeah, good squad. Let's see if they can win against the Jazz, keep up their hot streak. They don't. They lose in six in the conference finals. The Battle of the Altitude Bros and... The Sixers are in the finals to take them on. And the Jazz will lose to them. And Mark Jackson gets a finals MVP. And that was uh, Barkley's last season in Denver. We'll see if he decides to stay. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. We'll never know. He did say he liked it in real life. So, wanted to go golfing and things of that nature. Okay, so Charles Barkley signed a three-year deal to go to Seattle to play with Kobe Bryant, who's an 88 overall, 18-year-old. Also got Benjamin Neely, Ed Bird, uh, Thomas Keefe. I mean, uh, Janie Tatum. That's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, young Kobe. A little dynamic duo here. So Barkley, 90 overall, still, still the best player, but Kobe right on his tail. And um, yeah, a little dynamic duo. Him and Kobe on the same team the next three seasons. Uh, oh, yeah, next three seasons because this is a one-year deal and he's got a two-year team option. and I'm sure he'll probably stay longer, but Barkley's is here for three seasons. So, yeah, we're going to take on the Supersonics and uh, well, we'll just watch them and hopefully Barkley can kind of maintain, you know, around a 90 overall for, you know, something. But it looks like he probably starts to regress after this season a little bit. All right, so in his first season, uh, we'll, I guess we'll watch this one. Uh, in the playoffs... 3C, taking on the Clippers. Don't have Michael Jordan anymore, but they have a young T-Mac. Young T-Mac. Stephon Marbury, Detlef Schrems on the squad, former teammate. Um, should be able to beat them, but you never know with this game. And, uh, well, we beat them in four. So now we're going to be taking on the seven-seeded Timberwolves. Isaiah Thomas is still in the league. Wow. Still doing his thing out there. Shout out to IT, Isaiah Thomas. Uh, and then also got Vin Baker. Uh, okay, they got a solid team, but should be able to beat them. And we don't lose in six in the in the semis. That's a little unfortunate. Uh, how did Barkley do? Nothing too crazy. Um, you know him and Kobe. You know Kobe's still young, so I mean obviously he's gonna get better. I mean it's just a matter of how bad his re regression gonna be for Barkley and to add a couple more guys. But uh, I mean he's still averaging you know double doubles. I mean, Kobe was pretty solid in the postseason, but, you know, we'll see. He'll probably end up becoming better, and that'll be helpful. But they don't have much more time. At least Barkley doesn't. Munsk in the Heat win the finals, and Heem Lajuan is putting up, uh, you know, a three-time MVP, five-time champion. Yeah, he's putting up a really he's putting up a really good period, three-peat. Yeah, it's looking like he's running this show in this video, so good for him, I guess. But it's not about you, buddy. Uh, last season here in Seattle, uh, the contract's about to expire for Barkley. Um, I didn't show you guys last season. They were the one seed last year, but unfortunately they kind of blew it in the first round, which I didn't show you guys anything. But this year, four seed. Uh, Barkley is a bit, uh, sorry to regress a tad bit. He's 36-year-old, 16-year pro, but still an all-double-double. Uh, not an all-NBA on this uh, season, but he actually was all-defensive, I think, last year. I mean, the numbers still look pretty good. I mean... Honestly, he shot better from three, I think, in, in this in the game than he has in real life. I mean, he's at over 25,000 points, 16,000 rebounds, 6,356 assists so far. 
And, I mean, he's actually been really durable as well. Um, 79 games played. He played 80 last year. So he's still doing his thing there. Um, I mean, if we look in terms of all awards, he's been an all-star 14 times, 8-time first team All-NBA, 6-time second team, 3rd-time once. He was 8-time all-defensive. He was defensive last year. And then second team all-defense three times, which is actually pretty good. So probably similar numbers in his, you know, it's probably so far about the same accolades for his career besides the MVP and getting to the finals. But maybe this year they can get to the finals. Who knows? Kobe's up to a 95, so maybe he can help him out uh, by being the leader. I mean, he put up great numbers. So we'll see uh, if they can outlast the Grizzlies here in the first round. Uh, Barkley, 36 years old. Can he do it? Gets the past the first round. Second round, eight-seeded Portland Trailblazers. Uh, Abdul Roth, Vince Carter, Sharif Abdul, Raheem. A lot of Abduls and Abdurs and things of that nature. Finley. Uh, Tim Duncan is hurt. So Portland's an eight seed. Tim Duncan, though, if he was healthy, would be really good, but he's hurt right now. So maybe they can get past him, and they do with a sweep, and they're in the conference finals to take on the Jazz. Two-seeded Jazz, Jason K. Jerry Stackhouse. LaFonso Ellis, Rick Smiths. Okay, uh, can they beat the Jazz? Is this the year? They will in seven games. And the Sonics are in the finals to take on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, we've got Kevin Garnett. That's the guy. That's the final boss right here. Paige Stokovic is also pretty good. Uh, but yeah, Kevin Garnett's crazy in the sim. He already has a chip, I believe. So we'll see. If, uh, Barkley can do it. Game one, we'll go to the Cavs. Game two, we'll go to the Sonics. Game three, goes to the Sonics. Game four, goes to the Sonics. Game five, goes to the Seattle Super Sonics. And Charles Barkley gets a championship. Not the finals MVP, though. Kobe Bryant is. Um, you know, at this point, Barkley's more of a second fiddle. But you know what? Got to the finals, won finals MVP. Uh, didn't win finals MVP, but he got a championship. And, I mean, he was a contributor. He's a good contributor. Probably the second best player on the team, for sure. And congrats to him. Uh, getting his chip. Uh, played pretty solid in the postseason. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, uh, and look at that. Big Shot Bob's on the squad as well. Nice. I don't know. Is he going to retire? I don't think he will. But you never know. Does he go out with a championship? He does not. So he's going to stay in the league. Mark Price retired, though. Um you know, hit being his teammate on two runs. And Mike, Mark Price goes out with a chip. That's cool. But uh, Barkley's going to stay in the league. Let's see if he stays with the Super Sonic or decides to leave. If I was him, I'd probably stay. But who knows what he'll decide to do. We'll find out. He signs a two-year deal. Kobe's still on the squad. Uh, Robert Ory, obviously. Thomas Keith is still here. they got Kevin Kale Jr. Um, I mean, not too bad. I mean, this is a team that just came off a championship. Seeing if they could do it again. I don't know if they will, but... Maybe it'll be somewhat competitive at the very least for the next season or two while Barkley's still here. Probably after this two-year deal, he's going to end up retiring. But, I mean, he's got his chip. So, unfortunately, not a finals MVP, but a champion nevertheless. So, didn't get that in real life. But he has it here in the game and uh, some defensive teams. I think so far, yeah, I think this career has been better than his real life one. Besides the MVP, which he won't end up getting ever. But, I don't know. We'll see. Let's keep going and... Uh, We'll assess at the end. Guys, this season, but they're on a deep playoff run. So they beat the Golden State Warriors, second seed, beat the Nuggets in six, and their conference finals take on the Kings. Um, okay, uh, did not see that coming. Must be because Kobe's putting up over forty a game. He's trying to carry his team to a chip. I mean, Barkley has been solid, nineteen nine, five assists. I mean, he's pretty solid as a thirty-seven year old to take it. Still doing his things. He even got a triple double. I don't know if they're going to be able to get past the Kings, but we'll see. And they do. And they are it's a rematch of last year's finals. Kevin Garnett trying to get his revenge. Um, okay. Wow, this is impressive. And they don't have Ron Harper because he's hurt. Game one, Sonics versus Cavs. Super Sonics win, him, win game one by three. They win game two by five. Cleveland wins game three. Cleveland wins game four. The Sonics win game five, and the Sonics win game six. And Charles Barkley gets another championship thanks to Kobe Bryant. So he's a two-time champion. Kobe finals MVP. I mean, not a surprise, but I mean, honestly, Barkley's still doing his thing. 20 and a half points, 11 rebounds, 
So he must have had a really good finals. Uh, we'll take a look at his final stats. But yeah, great stuff from Barkley. As a 37-year-old, hey, we'll take it. I don't know if he's going to retire or not after the season. Maybe he'll play. I think he should play one more. Why not? Got the back-to-back, -back, though. That's pretty insane. And uh, Barkley, wow, he scored over 3,000 in a season. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Man, Kobe is just on another level, this dude. Did I do a Kobe? Yeah, I did a Kobe round two or so, obviously. Uh, but Barkley, I mean, two-time champion, 15-time All-Star, eight-time first-team All-NBA, second team. He was All-NBA six times, one-time third-team All-NBA, eight-time first-team All-Defense, three-time second team, All-Rookie first team. And, uh, yeah, in the finals, uh, does it show you? Playoff stats here. Let's see the series. I mean, in the finals, yeah, Barkley was pretty solid in the first round. He was good. Second round, conference seven rounds, really good in the conference finals. Yeah, in the finals, yeah, he was really dominant. I mean, yeah, he did good. He did good. And Barkley is gonna go another season, which I, makes sense to me. Why not? See if you can get that three peat. Michael Jordan is already retired. Two time, two time champion. 12-time uh, All-Star. Good career. Not quite the career of Charles Barkley, but still a good career nevertheless. Um, curious to see where he, um, what his all-time points were. The total points he had, uh, let's see. Just curious. Uh, 31 point, 31,971. Okay, cool. But Barkley's going to keep going. Let's see what he could be win a third championship. Right, and what could be the final season for uh, Charles Barkley? We're going to take a show you guys the team, by the way, because it's actually a pretty interesting team. Uh, but yeah, the sixth seed. By the way, last season as a seventh seed, they ended up being the, uh, yeah, the I think they're the lowest seed to ever win a finals. Uh, seventh seed, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we look at the Supersonics. I mean, Barkley down to a 38, 30 years old. He's down to an 82. Put up double double still. I mean, but yeah, the numbers have definitely declined. Um, he's a little starter though. But yeah, we over eighteen thousand rebounds is actually insane. Uh, nearly twenty thousand points. That's actually wild to think about. That's crazy that he has that many rebounds. Uh, Seventy eight games played. Yeah, wow. How do you have that many rebounds? That's crazy. Um, but also. Yeah, we signed Penny Hardaway. So, I mean, that's a good guy to have. I mean, now that makes Barkley the third option on the team. Also, look at Kenny, the Jet, the instigator. Bring me some water. Kenny, the Jet Smith. Okay. That's fantastic. But I don't know if they're going to be able to beat the Clippers. But we'll see. Um, maybe try to go for that three-peat. They swept them, so I lied. Let's see. Two-seeded Kings. Steve Nash, I mean, Kobe, Kobe will be able to Steve Nash, he can do it. Nope, they get swept. Okay, that's the end, I think. He's going to go for the 3 P. Barkley, I mean, stepped it up in the postseason when he was asked to. So, uh, unfortunately, could not get the 3 P. But this could be it for Barkley. I think he might retire here. I mean, maybe he continues to go. Honestly, if he does, try to get 20,000 rebounds if you can. I mean, he's, uh, he'd have to grab, like, a 1,000 rebounds a season to get there, but that would be insane if he could do it. I don't know if he will. He'll probably end up retiring. But, um, yeah, the Kings win the final. Steve Dash, finals MVP. Good for him. Does he retire? He does not. Kenny the Jet Smith did. So he's still going. Okay, Barkley's still going to go. I don't think he's going to get to 20,000 rebounds. Make it to 19,000. He'll get close to it. We'll see. But that's pretty insane. Okay, good for Barkley. Maybe staying with the Supersonics on a one-year deal. Uh, Kobe's still here. They're going to run it back. Penny Hardaway. Michael Finley's now on the team. Uh, so that's just more more talent on the squad. Bryant Reeves. Uh, yeah. This is a pretty good team. Maybe they could run it. They're trying to run it back. So... We'll see what ends up happening. Uh, Barkley, possibly his final year. But never know. Maybe he'll play one more after this. They exit here in five games to the two-seeded Timberwolves. Um, I mean, Barkley in the postseason playoffs, I mean, not too bad. But his last year, obviously, yeah, nothing too crazy. His first season that he didn't average a double-double. Um, 
And yeah, he's, it doesn't look like he's going to get to that 20,000 rebound mark unless he plays like another three seasons. I, I don't know if he will. I have assume he retires after this. Clippers win the finals. Tracy McGrady gets a finals MVP. And Charles Barkley does retire after 19 seasons. Calls it a career. So does his buddy Scotty Pippen. At least they were teammates at one point. Uh, Pippen, uh, yeah, okay, good for you. But yeah, Charles Barkley, 19 years in the NBA. I mean, great career. 18.9 points, 12.2 rebounds, 5 assists. Um, I mean, solid efficiency, I guess. I mean, 3 point was up and down, but better than his real life, I think. Uh, almost 29,000 points, 28,799. 18,646 rebounds is pretty insane. Also, 7,573 7, assists is insane as well. Uh, 1,347 seals, 2,274 blocks. Not too bad. He also missed a decent amount of games this year, 15. So maybe the rebounding number could have been a little bit higher, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, still had a great career. And if we look at his, uh, you know, his awards, two-time champion, 16-time All-Star, First team all NBA eight times, second team six times, third team once, first team all defense eight times, three time on the second team. He had that rookie team as well, first team rookie. So, yeah, great career. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. We all know that. What was I going to take a look there? Yep, he goes in with Scottie Pippen and uh, didn't get an MVP, but no defense player of the years, anything like that, but two time champion. And yeah, honestly, yeah, I don't think Charles Barkley ever won, like, got a defensive team. Like, if I go to Charles Barkley, I'm going to double-check just to make sure that I'm not uh, dissing the guy. Got to make sure. But, yeah, I don't think he uh, ever got it. He was an all-time All-Star, 11-time All-NBA. So, yeah, he, he definitely beat him, beat himself out uh, for sure. Other than missing out of the MVP, but he never won, like, a defensive. He never was, like, an all-defensive player in his career. Um, maybe he could have been. Um... But, yeah, no, he wasn't ever. Yeah, no. Second team, five times. First team, five times in real life. But, yeah, he's much, much, much higher. I don't know if they had a third team. No, I think they did. I don't know when the third team uh, became a thing. I just got something in my eye. Great. Uh, but we're going to take a look here. Jersey retirements. Um, yeah, he gets retired by the Wizards and also the Seattle Supersonics winning Probably win two championships there. Makes a lot of sense. Um, and let's take a look at the league history. See the stats here. And also, he's two for two in the finals. And he beat the Cavs twice. So that's pretty insane. Uh, owns Kevin Garnett. Um, let's see. Total points. So in terms of career, uh, Kareem, number one, but not really with his real number. Not as drastic. But still all-time, number one. Barkley ended up being number eight. Uh... In terms of field goals made, Barkley, number five. Three-pointers made, I don't think Barkley's going to be on this list. And if he is, it's going to be... Oh, no, he is. Oh, yeah, I guess because he took a lot of them. 49th. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be not... Uh, then he's 51st in free throws made. Now, rebounds is interesting. Rebounds, he's number three all the time with 18,646. I mean, you're never going to catch Will. Bill Russell, even getting to 20,000 is an accomplishment, but couldn't quite get there, but he was really close. Assists, uh, I think he's going to be on here. Yes, probably like here, 26. Blocks, I would assume he's going to be on here, and he is. He is a 2,274. Steals, Barkley is probably going to be on here. Yep, 44th. Minutes, he's going to be up here at number three. Turnovers, he's on this list, but I don't think you guys really care. 19 points per game, eventually be on this, but not that it really matters. I mean, actually be further down. So there you go. Those were his stats. What do you guys think? Do you think his real life career is better or his 2K career? If you ask me, I think it's the 2K career. Two-time champion. Way more all defensive teams. He didn't have a single one, so he's a way better defender in this in this scenario. And obviously, a great rebounder, a great scorer. Still, didn't get the MVP, but uh, you know, two time champion. That's pretty cool. 
and still could be one of the best players of all time. So good stuff from him. Let's go to the post and close of the video. All right, guys, so that's going to be for me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, like I said, leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below this video. Go to socials, playlist, second channel, and main channel down below the description if you like that content with TJP. And yeah, um, let me know some other video ideas down below in the comments. I'm going to head on out. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon. Peace.